first and only all-in-one with an 8-core processor. You could pair this with a RX 580 graphics. So as you know, for gamers, right, the ability to cool your components uh, is, is, is very important. Enable, right, to also uh, overclock it, as well as uh, the ability to support up to two uh, high-end graphics in this beautiful uh, chassis. This one is actually Asus uh, Casual Gaming Notebook. Casual Gaming actually means that you can bring your gaming PC into the meeting room, but you will not feel impressed. <laughs> That's why P Casual Gaming means. Th this means that you are in the meeting room playing games? <laughs> it means that when you open it, if you want something like passionate, then PC gamers love us, the um, <laughs> Republic of Gamer brand. The very first product from Republic of Gamer was based on AMD platform. All right. So ROG was founded, in fact, on AMD. If there's ever a time to get in with the AMD laptop, now is it. And it is VR ready. The GL702CZ is able to deliver performance in true ROG fashion. This device, what you're seeing right now, holds the record for the highest CPU score in the world. <laughs> and actually, the nearest second place, well, actually, I'm using near loosely because <laughs> this product right here is going to outperform any other laptops in terms of CPU score by almost 60%. Finally, they can really stream with confidence, high fidelity, and high quality. What I'll talk about is the next wave of products. Talk about Ryzen Mobile today, which is a combination of our new Zen cores and our new graphics cores. And then on desktops, We'll talk about an all-new, very high-end desktop platform. Our Ryzen mobile processor, we're bringing that to first to consumer premium mobile systems, notebook systems, in the second half of this year. And we've already been working very diligently with our PC OEMs for many months now on new systems designed around Ryzen mobile. So when Ryzen mobile comes out, you'll see beautiful two-in-one and convertible systems. You'll see really nice, uh, thin and light, ultra-portable systems and great gaming systems. Ryzen Mobile will be a great gaming processor. You'll see really nice, thin and light gaming system. And so we're going to deliver that CPU gain and that GPU performance gain at roughly half the power. This is Ryzen Mobile right here. Beautiful, thin, very small processor. This will have a tremendous amount of CPU and GPU performance in a very small form factor. Kevin, can you show us this great processor in action? I'd love to. So what I've, I have here in my hands is an actual two-in-one notebook <coughs> that is using the Ryzen mobile processor. So this is a beautiful prototype notebook using an engineering sample. And you can see the two-in-one action on the convertible hinge. And so right now, you see a sub-15 millimeter notebook running Ryzen mobile with four cores and eight threads of Zen CPU goodness plus Vega graphics, all in this incredible form factor and all at this very, very low power. And what we're showing it here is running a video, and up in the right-hand corner, you can see that this is actually four Zen cores and eight threads, which is an amazing amount of computational horsepower in this very, very small notebook. 
So this is just a hint of what we have to come, but it's great to see Ryzen Mobile up and running. We can't wait to get it to market with our wonderful OEM partners here coming right. in the second half of the year. Now let's, uh, let's switch gears. Let's talk about desktop. Now, uh, we introduced Ryzen into premium desktop systems about three months ago, and the reaction from the market from end users has been fantastic to Ryzen. And I think that the reason for the great reaction, the great momentum around Ryzen, is really because of the competitiveness of the product itself. Kevin, can you show us a competitive demo? I'd love to. On the right, you see the Ryzen 5 1600X processor, and on the left, you see the flagship Core i5 processor. And what you're watching here is Dota 2, but you're not watching the actual gameplay, you're watching a stream. So what's happening is the player's playing the game, and it looks smooth on the player's side, whether you're playing on Intel or AMD, but when you try to stream it, that's where the extra cores and threads of that 1600X come in and deliver that great experience. So you can see the smooth stream coming from the AMD side and the really choppy stream on the Intel side. I want to talk about a brand new platform we're bringing to the market. Um, this is my favorite part of uh, today. Uh, this is a brand new platform targeted at very high performance desktop. <laughs> So we call it Threadripper, Ryzen Threadripper, and this is by far my favorite product name of all of our products. Um, and it's coming this, this summer. And Ryzen Threadripper is really targeted at the highest performance uh, PC systems. And uh, with Ryzen 7, we introduced eight cores, 16 threads, but we didn't want to stop there. We wanted to continue to bring that same Ryzen innovation to the highest performance PCs. And so today, I want to share a little bit more detail about this new product and this new platform. And uh, first, uh, with the CPU, the number of cores. So with Ryzen Threadripper, we're going to introduce up to 16 cores, 32 threads. That's twice as much uh, cores as we introduced just three months ago with Ryzen 7. So we're doubling the core count, doubling the thread count, doubling the compute uh, density and performance. Uh, second, the platform and the CPU will support 64 lanes of PCIe Gen 3. That's an incredible amount of I.O. performance, an incredible amount of I.O. capacity. So you can hook up all your favorite graphics cards, all your favorite PCIe devices. This is leadership PCIe uh, capacity. And every Threadripper processor will support the full 64 PCIe lanes. You also have four channels of DDR4 memory. And again, every one of the Threadripper processors will support all four uh, channels. And this will be based on our new uh, chipset, our new X399 chipset. So we're really excited about this platform, really excited to get it to market. This is Ryzen Threadripper. Now, it's a little bit bigger than the mobile version, you'll notice, <laughs> but a lot more compute horsepower. Now, it's fun to show the product, but even better to see it in action. So we're going to ask Ke Kevin to come up one more time. All right, this is my let's favorite. See this, let's see this big bad boy in action. Yeah, let's put this beast to work. This thing is so incredibly fast that this render completes in a matter of seconds. So immediately, it peaks all, all 32 threads and just an incredible amount of horsepower, running the latest Br Blender wow. app, running that same image that we showed a few months ago and done just an incredibly that's short impressive. amount of time. All right, all right. so that, that's Ryzen Threadripper in action. Beautiful. Too. Thanks a lot, Kevin. All right, appreciate it. All right. So we're really excited about Ryzen Threadripper. It'll come out this summer, and uh, we'll put it in the hands of all of those users that really want just extreme performance when it comes to either creativity applications or gaming. Ryzen Threadripper is extremely exciting, and it's even more exciting when you can see what we can do in a system together. And what I started with is AMD is about high-performance computing both high-performance CPUs as well as high-performance GPUs. So I have a couple more demos I want to show you before we close today. And let me start first with Vega. Vega, as I said earlier, is a very, very exciting new architecture for us in the GPU space. It was really designed for future workloads, and it has the world's most advanced GPU memory. We announced several weeks ago that the very first Vega edition will actually be the Radeon Vega Frontier Edition. And with 25 teraflops and 16 gigabytes of high bandwidth memory, it's an extremely powerful GPU. And I heard some of you um, liked the 64 PCI Express lanes of Threadripper. I want to show you Threadripper with four Radeon Vega Frontier Edition GPUs. 
Omar, can we start the demo, please? Really, high performance computing in action. So you see the 32 uh, threads running uh, up there, over, and then you see that the GPU count is four GPUs. And what this is running is Blender with the Radeon Pro Render plugin. And what it basically is, is an opportunity to visualize a very complex render. And you can see that every time Omar is actually moving, the photorealism comes in to really recreate the image. And if you think of what content creators really want to do, and professional designers, they want to be able to look at images from every different angle and move back and forth and look at what it looks like in different um, aspect ratios. You basically can't do this without the horsepower of Threadripper with the four Frontier Edition GPUs. Omar, thank you. So with the Radeon Vega Frontier Edition, what we said is it will be the first to launch. And I'm proud to tell you today that it will be available in market starting June 27th. And as we pair Vega with Ryzen and Ryzen Threadripper, there are lots and lots of opportunities. The last demo I want to show you is one around gaming. And we love gamers as part of AMD. And what we wanted to show you today is, again, Threadripper running with the dual Radeon RX Vega that looks really, really gorgeous. So, Omar, can we run this demo, please? And what we're doing here is we're playing the new Bethesda title, Prey, on ultra settings at 4K resolution. So this is Ryzen Threadripper, so 16 cores, 32 threads, feeding two RX Radeon Vega GPUs. And we're gonna let Omar go a little bit through a few scenes, right, Omar? <laughs> and our message is that for the true enthusiast class performance capability, um, this combination will be an incredible combination available with Threadripper and Vega. So again, thank you very much, Omar. So we are extremely excited. You're going to see a lot about Ryzen, Threadripper, Vega over the next uh, couple of months as we launch some of these products. But when I said AMD stands for high performance computing, I was very clear that we are putting our money where our mouth is. So with that, I'd like to wrap up today's press conference. Our goal was to give you an idea of everything that we have going on at AMD. I can tell you, we have never been busier. We have never had more products um, getting ready to go in the market. We have a tremendous amount of excitement um, in the PC ecosystem. You saw it from our partners today. You see it from our motherboard partners. You see it from our add-in board partners. And you see it from the community, because there is no doubt that the market is a lot more exciting today than it was one year ago or two years ago, because competition is very, very good for everyone in the ecosystem. So I hope you feel the same excitement that we do, and thank you for joining us today at Computex. I think from everyone here at AMD, we thank you for your partnership, and the best is yet to come. Thank you.